laser is playing the same note, but this is light, so it's the frequency of light. Okay, where am I? There I am, I'm low. Okay, there we are. Now you cannot see the laser. Okay, and what I've got here is, okay, let's go to the screen. And then I can hit the B key and then turn off the lights, right? If you look at the screen now, do you see that there's a central bright spot? Then there's a dark spot, a bright spot, a dark spot, a bright spot, a dark spot. Do you see that? Yeah. Isn't that a little bit like what we heard with sound? We heard loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft. This is interference. This is why we think light is a wave. Okay? Because only waves can interfere, and this stuff is interfering. Right? This light is interfering. Um, and I can actually take out, I'll take out the Charles Bossy laser of extreme danger. He was my, uh, my student teacher last year. He very nicely gave me a laser that really could damage your eyes. Okay. That's why I keep it locked up in here. Okay. Like, ooh, that's a bright laser, right? Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Do you guys see those, those patterns on there? Do you see it up there on the left side? I know, yeah, so how, what's it interfering with? There's only one laser, so how does it interfere? Well, voila! <laughs> Thank you for asking that question. Everybody else will hate you for asking that question. No, I'm just kidding. Right. So what's going on here is that, that there are um, Ray Richardson's of light coming in here, right? And there are two little slits. There are two little slits in here, okay? And the light goes through simultaneously through this slit and this slit. Well, when it does that, it's something called diffraction where it spreads out, right? So a little sound from one part of the room can spread out and fill the whole room, right? And so these slits, the light coming from this one and the light coming from that one, eventually impinge upon the same part of the screen, so it becomes like two sources. You could do it with two lasers, right? But chances are they'd be like not quite exactly in tune with each other. This guy, so for sure the light from this guy is in tune with the light from this guy, okay? now. The, th this, the thing that you might not also understand about this too is it not only is the light monochromatic, that is, it's all the same wavelength. That's the only way for this really to work, right? Um, is for it all to be the same wavelength. But it's also coherent, okay? It's not coherent as in like it can conjugate verbs uh, correctly, but coherent as in the crests are always meeting up with the crests and the troughs are always meeting up with the troughs. How they do that, how that works with the laser, we'll talk about when we get to standing waves and resonance and stuff like that. But just suffice it to say right now, with what you understand about resonance, is that there's a light wave resonating in here. And it's all resonating in phase. And on the front of it, all it's got is a little half-silvered mirror and a little bit of that light's being allowed to escape. And since it's all part of the same resonance, it's all in phase. Every light wave, every crest is meeting up with every other crest every trough with every other trough, and they're the same distance apart, right? So uh, this is evidence that light has to be a wave. Only waves can do this, right? And of course, next year I'll show you evidence that it has to be a particle, right? Only particles can do that. And then the question is, what is light? And um, so if you, if, you get, uh, if you get to ask your maker, if when you die you get to ask your maker a question, don't you get to ask your maker a question? Don't you get one question, one phone call to a lawyer? Oh, wait, am I confusing stuff? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, um, if you get to ask a question, you can just ask about light or something like that. Um, don't be prepared to totally understand the answer, but just nod, you know, politely. Right? Um, and then I've got uh, another thing to show you that that uh, my student teacher set up last year, and this works really, really well. I keep pulling my microphone off. Okay. I'm going to take two speakers, and I'm going to hook them up to the stereo. And I'm going to turn on the annoying tone again. I know. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to make the white wire. When I plug in my speakers, notice that the, have you ever noticed that speakers have a red and a black wire? Yeah. And a red and a black terminal? Well, here's a little secret. It really doesn't matter. Speakers work on either way. They're going to work either way. But the secret is this. If you hook your speakers backwards. That is, you hook one speaker red to red, black to black on the stereo, and you hook the other speaker red to black and black to red. It'll still work, but if you stand right between the speakers, if you stand right between the speakers, you will hear 
Okay, hold on. I'm not understanding this. Let's see. Speaker C. All right. I am understanding it. If you stand right between it, what are you going to hear? If one speaker is moving out while the other one is moving in. Okay. Yeah, isn't that wild? You've actually created, instead of a nice, pretty happy stereo, you're creating an anti-sound demonstration. Okay? Permettez-moi de vous montrer ça. Et voilà. Okay. Here are these two speakers. I'm going to put them the same distance from you. I'm going to move this monitor back. Right? And this is speaker C. So I just have to turn on C. A, B, C. Let's see if they'll turn on. Let's go back to here. Ah, there we go. That's pretty nice, isn't it? We can even turn the volume up without our ears bleeding too much. There we go. Okay. And right now it's pretty loud, isn't it? Aren't they both the same distance from you? Yeah, they're both on, right? Okay. Now, 343 makes the wavelength one meter, doesn't it? So half a wavelength would be half a meter, right? So let's make one of these half a meter behind the other one, shall we? And it depends on where you are. Can you guys hear that, though? they're half a wavelength apart, what do you guys hear? Louder. Louder? I, know, I suppose it depends on where you are, right? Now it's quieter? Depends on where you are, right? Now I'm going to move them again. Is that louder? Oh, do I have them backwards, maybe? That'd be funny if I did, after saying that whole thing. Should be the opposite of what we're seeing. No, we got it right. Oh, is it on cosine? Oh, it's on 180. That's kind of funny, isn't that funny? Okay, is it loud now? There we go. That's loud, right? We had him, by the way, generating anti-sound was the problem. Okay, now let's move it half a. Is that quieter? Yeah, and then if I move it back even farther. Does it get loud again? Yeah. yeah, there we go. That's a whole wavelength. Half a wavelength. Zero wavelengths, yes. Half a wavelength difference. So it's destructive, isn't it? Right? And now it's like a whole wavelength. Is that quieter? I hear it not at all. But do you hear it? Is it quieter now? Or louder now? Louder? Quieter? Louder? Yeah, there we go. A little applause. I really want to turn this off. To make it quieter, what do we make the phase shift? Half a wavelength, right? Whoops, one eight. Is that quieter? I think so. They're both putting out the same sound, it's just that now, this is what happens if you hook red wire, one of them red to red, red black to black, and the other one red to black, black to red, right? This is what you hear. That's kind of wild, isn't it? That's in phase. What if I do 270? Or no, I'm sorry, 360. Same thing, right? It's like the thing's going, why do you even do that? What's the next? Uh, what's, what is it, 540? Here we go, it's quiet again. Yeah? That's crazy. And then we can turn it off. Oh, here we go. What? Well, then it's like kind of constructive, kind of destructive, right? Well, okay, no, no, no. Uh, that's when I put different pitches, so we'll do the same as left. If I put a different pitch in here, right? If I put a different pitch, it doesn't sit still. These are called wah-wahs. Right now it's one beat per second, do you hear that? Right? Holy 3D effect, right? And then if I, if I, if I make this uh, 346, it's going to be three a second. Go. But we're going to learn about that a little bit later. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Put them in the box. Yeah. 